Hey, I'm Ted Vieira. I hope you guys are doing great. Hey, it's Sunday night here in Vegas, and I just, uh, you know, I hope you had a great weekend. I just wanted to kind of sit down tonight and put together a short video. Um, and yeah, I do. I kind of want to start making my videos a little bit shorter, unless it's just the content just really <laughs> demands that longer format. Now, I kind of want to give you guys a break and uh, keep the videos as short as I can. Um, but yeah, so I will try to keep this short. <laughs> I'll try, man. But I do think this is an important topic. It's an important topic, especially for creative photography. Maybe not so much for professional or commercial photography, although maybe sometimes it still could work in that arena. No, but this is definitely, I think, important for uh, creative photography. And, you know, the, when I first started shooting with models, you know, and then I moved on to doing that kind of intimate portraiture work that I do, yeah, I always wanted kind of strong mood in the photograph, but really, man, I was shooting digital back then, and I really wanted perfection. <laughs> Not that, you know, I'm, I'm achieving that, but that's what we're striving for, right? Yeah, perfection in the photographs. I wanted perfect lighting. I wanted perfect exposure. I wanted, yeah, shooting digital, so I didn't want a bunch of noise, right? Yeah, I wanted clean shots, well-exposed, <laughs> perfect lighting, perfect posing, everything right yeah i wanted that kind of perfection that professional look for my photography that's what i was striving for now i did start shooting with film about three and a half years ago and you know i quickly obviously noticed that yeah each different kind of film that i shot delivered a different aesthetic to the photograph you know with uh acros and other 100 speed films yeah man you could get that perfect look, right? If you want perfection and you want to shoot film, you can do that, right? You can make the film look as perfect as you want to. But as you do start to shoot like Tri-X or HP5, these 400 speed films, more of a classic grain structure. And then especially if you start pushing them to 1600, boy, you can't help but <laughs> notice a little grain in those shots, right? Stuff that like in the digital days when I used to shoot that kind of stuff, I would think of that as not cool, right? I wanted that clean crisp, clean, sharp image. But then I started seeing grain, you know, shooting with different kinds of film, man, especially the Rolly Retro 400S, right? Man, grain for days. The thing that really helped me do, uh, start to do is to really don't look for perfection. You know, the, the kind of image quality that I was getting from these shots, especially when I would push the film, there would be imperfection. I don't even know if that's the right term, but I'm just going to use it for now because it kind of makes things simple, right? There would be imperfection in the film, but I often found that that's what I was drawn to. It was the imperfection, that grain or that loss of uh, shadow detail. That's the kind of stuff that I was really getting more and more drawn to. I started going through phases where I was watching photographers like Todd Heido stuff that he did. And there's another one, uh, another guy too, I wanted to talk to you about. I can't forget, but I'm going to link to uh, maybe one of Todd's videos and this other guy, if I can remember who he is. Great stuff, man. Very artistic photography, beautiful, powerful image and imagery, but far from perfect. Perfection was not the goal. Feel was the goal. Telling that story, that was the goal, right? I feel that that's I feel that that's far more important than perfection in a photograph. Now, photography, man, the kind of stuff I do, it's very subjective, right? So I can't say that what I feel, <laughs> what I feel, that I feel that uh, the feel of the photograph far outweighs any kind of technical assessment. I feel that I feel very strongly about that. And if you look at my photography, <laughs> yeah, man it kind of proves it, right? I'm not going for technical excellence. I'm going for feel. I'm going for moodiness, right? Imperfection is one of the you know most powerful building blocks that I can use to achieve that look in my photographs. I'm not going for anything uh, drastically imperfect, but grain, yeah. I love strong grain presence. Sometimes, you know, I got to admit, man, once I went back to shooting Acros again, I did kind of fall in love with that clean look, that beautiful look, man. It is just pure beauty. 
Okay. But shooting, man, Triax, I love that, right? 400 speed grain, I push it to 1600 grain for days, right? I started really appreciating that. I started doing some shots with Holgas. Just a little bit. I want to do more with that, with the Holga. <laughs> Man, you just don't know what you're going to get. But you know what? It's almost always beautiful. And obviously not because that film is perfect, right? Or those cameras are perfect. Not that your shots are perfect. It's that lack of perfection, that imperfection that often can give your photograph such strong character that you would not have if there was no noise, if there was no grain, if the, all the shadow detail was present, all the highlight detail was present. No, don't don't um, run from imperfection. And this is just um, just a suggestion. If you're maybe if you're bored and your shots, man, they are they're clean. You're nailing it, right? You're nailing the exposure. You're nailing, man. You just the shadow detail is there. You're able to recover it in Lightroom or whatever you use. Yeah, try. Uh, Embrace that imperfection, man. See what you can do when you see if you don't get more moodiness, more of a strong feel from the image. That imperfection gives you such a strong building block in creating more mood. I'm going to show you some shots that I did with Geneva a little while ago. I shot some uh, Ilford HP5 Plus. I pushed it to 1600, but I kind of underexposed it during the photo shoot because what my intention was. I wanted to bring the gain up. I wanted to bring the exposure up in Lightroom. So what that would do is that would bring more of a presence of grain into the shot. And HP5, man, can already be pretty grainy and under certain conditions, right? Not overly. It's it's not as dramatic as Triax. But, yeah, so I went ahead and shot with Geneva. I did another one of those kind of um, natural light shoots, right, through the window. And then when the lights went down... I use my trusty reading lamp with that 15 watt bulb in there. Yeah, it's been a that's been a fun combination, man. Moving from natural light to that single reading lamp light source, low light images. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of those. I'll talk you through them and uh, see you on the other side. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Ilford HP5 Plus. I'll push to 1600, and during the photo shoot. I did underexpose each of these shots by about a stop or so. Now, what that allowed me to do was go ahead and bring the exposure back up in Lightroom. And what that did was it just kind of increased that moodiness look to the film. It did increase the grain. You know, was I going for perfection here? No, man. These photos were 100% all about the mood. You know, the feel, man, the story, the soulfulness from these images. Yeah, by embracing imperfection, I feel like I'm going to get more of these kind of shots more often. I love this stuff, man. Hey, so what do you guys think? Beautiful woman. Um, <laughs> dark, moody photography, right? I love that stuff. Obviously, man, it's not for everybody, right? And I don't expect it to be, and I'm glad that it's not. I'm glad that we've got so much variety in the kind of, you know, work that we produce. So fortunately, <laughs> there are so many ways that you can avoid perfection, right? Doesn't matter if it's film, doesn't matter if it's digital. Man, work on your composition. Avoid that perfection, your focus, your, your lighting. Man, lose that detail in your shadows. Blow out those highlights, Push your creativity so that you do produce work that, yeah, goes beyond what you've been uh, producing so far. And for me, one of the easiest ways to get started down that path, embrace imperfection. And I showed you some of those shots uh, where I messed up the film from Tanya's photo shoot, right? Where I had exposed the film. I took the base plate off my M6. I didn't, that's not something you want to do. And I I'm not going to do it again just to see what I get. Yeah, but I embrace the imperfection. I love what those photos gave us. I love what these photos gave us, Geneva and I, right? Beautiful stuff, man. Yeah, push your creativity. Again, this is for more of your artistic photography. I don't think you're going to find a lot of corporate sponsors that are going to be really excited about <laughs> like this dark, moody, grainy uh, images for their uh, product shots. Probably not, but maybe for some, who knows? But for your artistic pursuits, definitely, man. 
embrace imperfection. Yeah, you know, I'm never telling you what to do. I promise. Everybody follows their own path, man. And if you're trying to get the most tack sharp images from corner to corner, side to side, then do that. You know, if you're trying to do everything so that your shadow detail, it's amazing, right? And your highlights are amazing and your midtones, everything is just beautiful. If that's what you're going for, man, keep doing it. Yeah, follow your dreams, your path. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I think you guys know what I'm trying to say here. I'm going to leave the links down below to uh, Todd Heido. Uh, really interesting presentation that he, he gave. Or a guy who's not looking for perfection at all, right? Other than the perfection he gets from the feel of him as his images. And I will always say this. Of all the different parts of a photograph, the feel is the most important part to me. Yeah, I'll leave the link <laughs> to the other guy. I can't remember his name, man. Okay, all right. I'll leave the link to both those guys down in the uh, description below here on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this. Man, share your thoughts with me on this. What do you think about embracing imperfection? I think it's a given, man. I think it's it's the way to go. All right. All right, I'm Ted Vieira. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks.